Welcome back to Flannel Review Friday. Um, this week we have a special episode. Uh, I got a flannel in the mail. This is new. This is fresh off the rack, so to say. I think my parents ordered it from LL Bean, so it's not really off any rack, but I got a surprise shipment of a flannel in the mail, and I figured what better way to, to wear it for the first time than on my flannel-based YouTube channel. Um, right off the bat, thing I'll, no I'll notice, and I don't know if this makes it not count as a flannel anymore, but, you know, I gotta review it anyways, as a hood. I can go <laughs> on the streets and wear my flannel like this. I don't know if I will, it's a very large hood. Very much obscures my face, I don't know how I feel about that. But that is a feature that I may utilize, I might not. It's nice to have it there. Um, also, it's drawstrings, which I guess is, you know, typical of anything with a hood, but, uh, also a feature I'm not familiar with in flannel, so that this is brand new for me. I'm experiencing it in real time with you. Um, something I find kind of interesting about this one is the buttons, instead of being, uh, well, buttons, they're like these little snap things. Um, that's not only true for the pockets, it's true for the entire design. Uh, you probably can't see it from here, but uh, these all snap too. Um, I don't dislike it so far. Um, it has, I'll stand up so I can show you. Uh, the flannel has pockets, both here and here, which is nice if I'm like, I don't know, carrying my phone on me and listening to music, I don't have to put them in my jeans pocket, I can put them in here. Um, looking at it on me now, it is incredibly large, larger than I think any of my other flannels. Most of my flannels will go down to here. This one has another, I don't know, eight or so inches after that. It, I can only assume this is large. If this is a medium that they got me, then L.L. Bean needs to rethink some of their design choices. But, um, yeah, let's bring it back in for a closer look. Um, if you look closer at the design, it's got a nice color scheme. I like it. It's uh, a lot of greens and reds. It's I guess I could wear this in the, the holiday season uh, if I wanted to be a bit festive, but I think it works. I don't know, it, it's darker than um, a lot of the other flannels I have that are got, have a red tone, so it kind of, I don't know, there's a lot of gray in it as well. Um, I, I think it's pretty versatile in that means. Uh, if I were to give it a rating right off the bat, bat I don't know, I've never really done one of these flannel reviews without having, you know, worn the flannel outside first. Um, I'd give this one a strong three out of five. I wish maybe it was a medium so that way I wasn't walking around wearing, you know, a, a trench coat all the time. But um, it's very warm and I'm immediately enjoying wearing it. Maybe, maybe it'll be more of like an indoor flannel for me, one that I just wear around my apartment and stuff. I hope everyone has a good week. Uh, I'll be back next week with a new flannel. Not as new as this one. This one's hot, uh, hot off the presses. Um, yeah. See you all later. Bye.